Okay, so this might be one of my favorite tips to share right now. This has really changed the way that I am going to be able to offer my classrooms to students. It's going to eliminate the worry of if I send just a Google slide to my students instead of publishing to the web, students are not gonna be able to edit, delete, or change the main pieces of our slide deck. So to do this, we have to look at how do we edit the master. So for example, this first slide that I have in front of you, I have edited the master. So there is no way that you can click or remove anything that I've put into this slide. Whereas if I were to just upload everything like I normally would into a PowerPoint or I have previously, which I think most of us have been trained to do, I can move everything. So I can move the cardinal, I can move the background, okay? It just doesn't stay. So students can accidentally change it. We don't want that to happen. So we are going to now use the edit master function. To do that, I go to slide, edit master. Perfect, so it's going to look like this. Um, so it looks a little bit different than what we're used to, but again, you can do everything in this. So I have just added a background, I have added an image, I've added a text box, okay? Everything is able to be edited within this when you're in the edit master slide. And you can add more than one slide so that it doesn't look the same for all of the slides that you have created, which will allow for you to, again, have the freedom to put in what you need to put in and not have anyone change it, okay? so. This is also a really great strategy if you are doing interactive lessons. So I want to give the students the instructions. I want to have a background for the activity, but then I want to have little loose parts within the slide deck that they can move. I would not put in all the pieces within the master. So for example, if I was doing that, I could quickly just add in anything extra that I want for them to move around. So if I was doing math and I wanted to move something into a 10 frame, if I was doing a loose parts activity with kindies and I wanted for them to create something in the Google slide, I would put all of the loose parts in those pieces in outside of the master edit. But the master edit is great to put in kind of the background, the things that you know don't need to be moved or touched. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit of a game changer for you if you were doing virtual learning. It definitely has changed the way I'm going to be creating my lessons and what I'm offering to my students. So I'm hoping that this is helpful.